We are Pro Cannabis Media. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Weed Talk Now, a 422 edition. I'm Jimmy Young, the founder of Pro Cannabis Media. And I'm Kurt Dalton, the founder of Cannabis.net. Hey, last week, Kurt, you and I got a chance to talk with uh, Bruce Linton, the ex-CEO of Canopy Growth, Joe Lasardi, the CEO of Cureleaf, and Chris Walsh, one of the founders and now CEO of MJ Biz Daily. But I know you have a very special friendship with Bruce Linton, and it's pretty obvious to me that Bruce is not from around here. You know what I mean there? Yeah, no, he's, he's a Canadian, that's for sure. And if you follow Bruce's career, uh, you know, he's well aware um, before COVID how big the Canadian market was and when he was the head of Canopy Growth. And he realized that when a country has 37 million people and for it, you know, in comparison, California has about 33 to 34 million people. And it's that geographically big. We know that social distancing isn't nearly as hard, but on the business side, he knew it at Canopy, he had to get international to make uh, numbers and things work. There were just not enough people in Canada uh, to drive a worldwide company in cannabis. And now, of course, it ends up perhaps playing to his strength that he's a healthy guy, uh, but he's also in his cabin in the woods somewhere up in the North Country. Let's take a listen to what Bruce had to say about that. The wave coming through, what did they do better or earlier? Or what are you guys doing now that's what's so effective compared to the US? Well, we do have one massive advantage that our country is a little bit larger geographic and there's only one in 10 for every American. So isolation is kind of natural, right? We're already pretty far apart. Um, but I think just the whole thing, this is week five for me, where um, they've been pushing, just stay away. And um, I, I think that's pretty much been it. I wouldn't say that there's been anything else materially different. We didn't have a metro center like in New York that went off in a big way right away. It started in Vancouver, um, mainly a little bit, then moved to Quebec and Montreal. But um, you know, when you get a place like New York, which becomes sort of the, uh, the center of the action, that is a, I don't know how you contain that when you think about the traffic through that city. And um, I, I averted being there, frankly, randomly. I was out uh, marketing our SPAC on the, um, what day did they uh, have the headline on the New York, uh, Wall Street Journal saying end of an 11 year bull run and uh, uh, pandemic declared. I think that was the 11th or the 12th. That's the day I began marketing my SPAC. Genius, there was no one else on the road. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, we, uh, we were supposed to go the next day to New York and we did them all by the phone and we ended up doing four or five more days of marketing by phone. And frankly, if you have a chance to have a, uh, basically a buy side person who's stuck at their home, do a call and or Zoom with you when you're stuck at yours, way better than being in their office. Like we actually got to work through the whole deck, have a focused Q&A, and it didn't end in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It was like every one of our calls went really well that way. So I'd say, um, you know, Canada's been buttoned down, but uh, the reality is, is until America as well, it doesn't matter if Austria or Germany is doing terrific, who they're going to do business with. They need the U.S. back. So there's a counterparty. And so we're looking forward to you guys getting all uh, healthy and well. Well, I'll tell you what, Kurt, that was a really interesting thing about how business is going to get done in the future based on how business is being done now in the present when people aren't traveling as much for these face to face meetings. They're actually doing some of these back to back, uh, back and forth Zoom calls. And uh, the future, as we know, is going to be uh, completely unprecedented because our present is unprecedented. Do you see how business is done in the future being positively or negatively affected by the COVID-19 virus? Depends if you need those interactions. So someone like Chris Walsh, who runs large trade shows, is going to be reliant on people coming back together for like the Vegas MJ BizCon in December. Uh, but Bruce brought up a good point. If you're pitching or you're talking to an investment banker or an investor, you have their undivided attention on Zoom. You know, the phone's kind of down. They're not distracted. Um, and you can get a lot done. So it will be a little bumpy. There'll be, you know, some hiccups for people, but I think everybody will get adjusted. Um, I guess the worst uh, case uh, slice would be the trade shows, not just in cannabis, but I mean, any trade show that requires five to 10,000 people to go somewhere. Uh, that may be murky for a year or two. I don't know when people are going to feel comfortable in that kind of setting. Do you think we need to create a virtual handshake because the actual 
handshake now is going to disappear because nobody wants to touch each other's hands. Uh, so we need to create some kind of a Zoom virtual handshake to seal the deal. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. And I think they're gonna, you're going to find some of these ancillary businesses like I think it's notary.com that does notarizing electronically. And I know Adobe has a few products for contract signing, DocuSign. You're just going to start having kind of like housing and real estate deals done 99% online. You know, it's just kind of kind of that's how business is going to transition. So those services are there. We just have to plug them into the cannabis industry. There you go. And Kurt and I will continue to talk more about the cannabis industry on future editions of We Talk Now for Kurt Dalton. I'm Jimmy Young of Pro Cannabis Media. We'll talk to you next time. Weed Talk and In the Weeds are two productions of Pro Cannabis Media supported by Revolutionary Clinics, one of the top medical cannabis dispensaries in the Massachusetts area. Now with three locations in Greater Boston, two in Cambridge and one on Broadway in Somerville. Rev Clinics has a patient first mission. They will customize your needs as a medical patient with the proper titration and combination of strains, flavors, and products. Rev Clinics, where the patient comes first. We are Pro Cannabis Media.